Hi guys, hold on for a second. Let me turn off my video here. I just got done doing a, an online training class. Very, very successful. We've had some, some just great classes, great students. And if you've taken the class, thank you. Uh, my director here, the Martin Scorsese, Martin Scorsese of fiber optic uh, videos, Jeff Cosma said, you know, the John Bruno questions are piling up. Now let's do a video on some of them. So I have a paper here with questions, and the first one I see is, uh, we'll, do we'll take this one. Uh, John has mentioned several times that cleanliness is the number one priority, which it is. Uh, if you had to choose one cleaning method, what would it be? Huh, but it's a tough question. There's a lot of methods. You know, we have our dry click cleaners here. You can see I, this is just some stuff left over from the training I just did, and they happen to be out. Uh, this one's for LCs. This one's for, so these are for one and a quarter mil or two and a half. They do about 525 cleanings. It's got a cleaning tape. Remember, it's a dry clean. It'll handle about 90% of your clean. So when you ask what's the best method, that's the first thing I go to would be the dry clean with the pen, the clicker. Um, it's going to handle you know 90% of your cleanings, but when you have stuck on dirt, right, it's going to create a bond with that glass. The longer the dirt is there, or the contamination is there, uh, the harder it is to remove. So we can move to a liquid clean, and uh, this is our tried and true isopropyl alcohol. It's 99% pure. Uh, some we also have other cleaning agents. Uh, personal preference, I guess. Uh, you can read white papers on the downfalls of alcohol. I've, I've found it to be an excellent cleaner. Uh, the other cleaners work well too. They dry very quickly. Uh, important thing here again is 99% pure. Uh, we don't want any contamination. The older alcohols, or I'm not sorry, not the older, but the, the alcohols off the shelf in let's say your drug stores would be about 70%. Uh, so you have a lot of contaminants in water. You know, 30% of it is not alcohol. So. Um, with in conjunction with the alcohol people use the wipes so when you ask what's the best well I start with the one click I look at it in the microscope if it's clean we're good if it's not we're gonna move on to maybe a wet clean let's say we clean this and it didn't come clean so what we would do is move to a wet clean so we can either use a pre moistened towelette or we can moisten these now these wipes here these are our task wipes. These are very popular. Misconception that they're lint-free. They're actually low lint. We do have lint-free ones called non-woven wipes. But regardless, what we want to do is a, a vigorous clean. We want to press down hard. Don't be wimpy here. And uh, sometimes it'll actually squeak. So I'll, I'll do that, and then I'll follow it up with a microscope again. This is usually going to be, this will usually get the 10% that didn't get cleaned with the one clip. But again, the, the microscope is essential. If we move to the de facto standard of cleanliness, you know, the, the Ten Commandments of Cleanliness, uh, it's the wet to dry method. And, and the standard is be to take alcohol and put a little puddle in the middle and we do the wet to dry. So we start in the puddle and we pull away. So we're going wet to dry. Actually, it's recommended that you spin it as you do that. So that's like the de facto standard. It's not necessarily the most practical thing to do in the field, but that's really the standard. One last little tip. Uh, before I get out of here is these uh, these one clicks they're nice because if you remove the cap here we can do the female port and I've always been critical about cleaning the equipment too but if we have difficult to remove dirt what I've started to do here is put just a drop of alcohol on the end and it'll wet and it'll uh, moisten that cleaning tape here and we're gonna do a couple clicks on the connector and that'll be the wet clean. That'll remove that stubborn dirt. A couple more clicks, and that'll follow it up with a dry to get rid of any alcohol that's left behind. So that's kind of a cool little trick, but you know, what's my bottom line? Start with the one click, see if that works, and then move to a wet clean. Uh, again, the standard would be the wet to dry. Uh, not every one of us can do that, but I hope that it helped to answer the question. Uh, the bottom line is, clean 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 if we can keep that in our minds we are going to cut down about 85 percent of all of our fiber related issues and that's a good thing so thanks a lot guys and we'll try to do a couple more with some of the other questions we've gotten check out our channel and hit the subscribe button for new videos